Hello and welcome to HWBLU. In today's video, we will be doing the modeling of this particular universal joint, including all its parts and its assembly. The very first part is this, which we call frame. Next part is this, which is yoke of it. We have got two quantities of it. Third part is this spider, which is connecting the two yokes. Fourth part is this handle over here, one quantity of this, fifth part is this socket, one quantity again, sixth part is this long pin which is going all the way through up to the other end, seventh part is this short pin, we have got two quantities of this. So let's start with the very first part which we call frame. We will open a new file, select part is selected, we will click OK, go to sketch, select a plane. Now we will click on the line, we'll start making the first line. Now let's start dimensioning it. We'll give this a value of 150. Two forty. One thirty. One twenty point seven one. And let's give this angle. 45 degrees. So now our sketch is ready. We come out of the sketch and we will go to extrude command. Let's keep the thickness as 10 mm. Select mid plane so that it comes in the middle and this width shall be 100. Now click OK. Now next we have to give fillets. So to go to fillet command and let's select the edges. Give it a value of 50 millimeters so that it looks like this. Now we will also add fillets to these corners. Fillet. Give it a value of 25 millimeters. Select OK. And now at the outer edge. Thirty five millimeters, select OK. Now we have to do another sketch over here. Select circle, snap the center of it, right click, smart dimension, select it, click on it, and then thirty. Press OK. Go to extrude cut, the sketch is pre-selected, select up to next and then click OK. Now select this surface, go to sketch, again select circle, snap the center, right click, give the dimension. 30 extrude cut again up to next select ok so with this our frame is done now we will assign some color to it 
So we can also select the body directly, click on appearances and give, we can give it some color. I have given it a grayish color. So this part is done. Let's save it. Frame. So the next part is yoke. We will go to sketch again. Select 2D sketch. Select top plane. Circle. Center. Smart dimension. Let's give it a value of 100 mm. Press OK. Now go to features, select extrude base, give it a value of 120 millimeters. Press OK. Now we go to sketch again and select the front plane. Select circle, in the middle of it draw a circle, go to line, right, and like this also, now let us define the sketch. We will make these two collinear, we will trim out the lower circle, now we will add dimensions. Twenty mm, the center of it shall be at ninety five mm, this line will be at 50 millimeters. Now come out of the sketch. So we have got an open loop. We can still use it for extrude cut. So we have to flip the side of it and through all both. So we have reached here. Now we have to use shell command. So let's click on shell, asking to select the surfaces. Let's give it a value of 10 millimeters. OK. So in the next step, we se select the plane, sketch, select circle. Snap the center, right click, dimension and uh, value shall be 20 millimeters. Press OK. Now we can use it to do the extrude cut. Select through all both sides. OK. So we are done till here. Now we go to the bottom face, select the face, go to sketch. Select the circle, centers, right click, smart dimension, click on it, 30 millimeters. Press OK. You go to extrude base, give it a value of 40 millimeters. Press OK. Now you can switch off the origin planes. Select the bottom face, go to sketch, select the line, right click, dimension, give it a value of 12 millimeters. Come out of the sketch, we will use the extrude cut again, 
give it a depth of 20 millimeters press ok so with this our yoke is done we can also give some colors to it let's go to edit appearance let's give it this color press ok now save it Call it yoke. Let's start the third part, which we call spider. Again, create a new part. Go to sketch, 2D sketch, select a plane, select a circle or rectangle this time. Right click, smart dimension, add value to it. 60 millimeters. Escape, select both the edges, make these equal. It is fully defined. Press OK. Now go to features, extrude boss, select mid plane, give it a value of 60 millimeters. Press OK. Now select the plane or face, go to sketch, circle, right, right click, smart dimension, 20 millimeters. Press OK, extrude cut through all and OK. Now same thing we have to do on the other face also, circle, right click, smart dimension and 20 millimeters. Finish the sketch, go to extrude cut, circle is pre-selected, select through all and press ok. Now we can also add some chamfers into it. Go to chamfer, select the face and let's also select these edges. Value 1 or 2 also. So with this, our spider is done. We can add some colors to it, appearances. Let's make it green. Okay. Save. We call it spider. Now close this part. Next, we have to make the handle for it. So we'll start a new part file. Okay. Go to sketch, 2D sketch, select a plane, select a circle, do a circle, dimension 50 millimeters. We will make another circle slightly away from it, also give it a dimension 30 millimeters. Now we will select line which is tangent to both the circle. Escape. Again. So it has automatically snapped tangent constraints. Now we can trim the internal part of the circle. Ok. It is still undefined. So we will see. horizontal and this dimension also we will need 100 mm so now our this sketch is finished now we will go to extrude extrude boss 
and the thickness shall be 10 mm which is pre-filled as the next step we will select this face go to sketch select a circle snap the center right click give it a dimension 46 millimeters press ok go to extrude boss let's give it 30 millimeters ok but it is merged right now so we have to edit it again you don't want it to merge uncheck it merge results and now ok on the other side also again we have to do the same thing select the sketch select circle snap the center right click dimension 26 millimeters finish the sketch to extrude boss 50 millimeters is the height press ok same thing we have to check if it is merged or unmerged we have to do it like this now you will see that we have got three bodies over here three so now we will add some chamfer again so we will select this face we will select this face and the value let's keep it one millimeter press ok now onto this we can add some fillet let's 5 millimeter press ok so now on this part select the face go to sketch select circle snap the center right click add dimension 30 millimeter select line click on the circumferences now we add some dimension to it 12 millimeters now we can trim this part it's still defined finish the sketch now we will use extrude cut command and give it a depth of 20 millimeters press ok so now our handle is finished we can assign some colors to it so let's select the handle go to appearance give it a bit black color and the main body of the handle can be red and the lower half of this can be yellow say so now we are done with the handle also we can save the part we can call it let's say handle so with this we are done with the fourth part which is handle let's close it let's start with the fifth part which is the socket new part file ok to sketch 2d sketch top plane we'll start with polygon this time right click select let's make it horizontal this dimension across flat shall be 80 millimeters and now we can close the sketch now extrude this to 50 millimeter press ok now we can add some chamfer to it oh. 
2 millimeters as the value of it we can do shell press ok now select the back face go to 2d sketch select circle right click dimension give it 40 millimeters or maybe let's give it 60 now on the inside of it we'll make another circle right click let's give it the dimension of 30 millimeters good select line snap on the circumferences Twelve millimeters. Let's trim away the unused part. It's okay. Now we can extrude this sketch. The value of twenty millimeters. Press OK. So this is how socket looks. We can also assign some color to it. There are various ways of assigning the colors. I usually go by bodies. Now save it. Let's call it socket. So fifth part is done. Now we will go to the sixth part, which is pretty much simple. Just a pin. Go to extrude boss. Select plane, right click, dimension 20 millimeters, which is mid plane. So again add chamfer to it. One millimeter. Press OK. Let's give some color to this also. So this is the sixth part which we should call long pin. Now the seventh part which is absolutely same with a different length. So we can use the same part and save it as save as short pin. And we can simply change its uh, length. Forty millimeters. So this is now short pin. So now we are done with the part modeling, we will now start the assembly. To start with assembly, we will open a new file, select assembly template, press OK. So it automatically opens the browser window. Now we will start with the very first part which is frame, press open, place it. So you will see it has automatically fixed it. Now we will call the next part which is yoke. Go to assembly, insert component, call the yoke. We will give constraint to it. Select the center. Now select these. Distance 5 millimeter. Press OK. Now we will add another part. It's called in spider. 
now we will first do a concentric mate it automatically shows up the available mates you bring it inside or not necessarily needed next we will select both the faces of it and select the inside face of it width mate press ok so with this our spider is aligned to it now we have to call this yoke again so instead of pressing insert component I can simply select this press control and drag out of it so next part is inserted so we will make it concentric to this and press ok now same weight with these faces width weight press ok but the location is not correct now we have to make these two faces parallel so now you see it is perfectly aligned we try to see the movement it's working good now we will add the pins go to insert component we will add the long pin first select the circumference select and straight so right now it is free in this direction so we can select this this and make it tangent there are various ways to do it I am using this one now we have to put the pins on these holes also this time we will use the short pin so select select and concentric so again we will do the tangent mate we need one more short pin so we will drag it out select select and concentric select this select and so pins are placed now now we have to place the next part insert components this time we will bring in handle of it so we can select this and this and concentric Let's flip it so that it's accurately placed next mate is coincident with these faces and the last mate for this is and this coincident so the now our handle is located now we are left with only one part of it which is the socket let's bring in that also socket we will use concentric meat first it is free in this direction let's align these two coincident let's select this face and this face coincident so with this our assembly is done now you can see it is moving beautifully you can also see some shadows also to make it more real make it look more real now let's try motion study for this control s let's call it universal joint assembly save we will go to motion study and we will use motor 
and select the part to be rotated and we will use 5 rpm press ok we first need to calculate the motion so it has to calculate stop it let's calculate it up to 15 seconds we calculate again stop it let's play so this you see this is how it is rotating it was a pretty basic assembly which I wanted to show you let me have your comments on this and if you want to see any particular assembly to be done in SOLIDWORKS you can also mention that Thank you for your time. See you in next video.